the Church TechCast screencast show, along with all the shows on the churchtechcast.com network, are generously provided for by viewers like you. Thank you. For as little as a dollar a month, or as much as you want, you can support the show. So head on over to patreon.com slash paulallencliff, that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash p-a-u-l-a-l-a-n c-l-i-f. Hi everyone and welcome again to another episode of the churchtechcast.com screencast show. My name is Paul Allen Clifford and I just want to answer your questions on using software in the church. Now, I've concentrated historically and in the last uh, couple of months on ProPresenter, but that doesn't mean that that's limited to what I'll concentrate on. So, if you have any questions about any software that you use in your church, feel free to head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash Paul, uh, sorry, trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact, and you can leave your question there, or you'll find all my contact information there. So my phone uh, phone number is one eight seven seven pod echo one eight seven 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 six three three two four six, or my email address is paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, or you might know that I wrote the book on Twitter for churches, quite literally. So I have a very active Twitter account over at twitter.com slash paulallencliff. That's twitter.com slash p-a-u-l-a-l-a-n-c-l-i-f. And if you want to head over there, that is more than fine as well. And you can find all my information there. So let's, um, let me preface this and then we'll get started. So, ProPresenter is really flexible when it comes to um, how you can do things. And drop the lower third right there. And so, some people ha have wondered well, what's the difference between the different import and export choices? And is there any way to get songs in a little? a little faster. Let's say you have a text file or maybe message notes from your pastor. Well, the answer to both of those is yes, there are easier ways to do that than you're probably using. So let's hop on over and we'll take a look at ProPresenter. Okay, so here I am in my ProPresenter window once again. Now, the way I've got this set up, remember you can't see the bar uh, the menu bar above here. But if I go straight up, I'm going to click on the file menu item, and you'll see the menu. And then let's talk about the different choices. First off, we have import file. That will allow you to import any ProPresenter file. You can import audio uh, import a video or an image. You can import copied text. You can import PowerPoint. You can import stuff from Pro 3 or Pro 4. Either one of those. Now let's go down to the export choices. Export is plain text. Export is Pro 5 bundle. Export playlist and export as Pro 4. Okay. So let's go through each of those. Export as plain text will export uh, songs and playlists just as the text. That's all. You don't need anything else. Then this is the choice for you. Export Pro 5 Bundle exports everything that you're using in a presentation. So not only do you get the lyrics, the formatting, etc., but you also get the backgrounds and any foreground videos, and those are all bundled together, so that's going to be a longer export. It's also going to be a bigger file, but if you're 
let's say, creating it on one computer and dealing with it on the other, that's the choice for you. Next, we have Export Playlist. So if you just need the playlist and you don't necessarily need all the media that goes with it, Export Playlist is what I would use. So I use Export Playlist every week when I create the playlist for our satellite campus. With that said, Export Playlist, here let me show you that, because it has an option that basically turns it into Export Pro 5 Bundle. So you see here where it says Include Media Within Presentations? That basically turns it into the same thing as X, Export Pro Presenter 5 Bundle, or Pro 5 Bundle, whatever it said there in the menu. So if you just want the formatting and the text, you want to uncheck that. That's going to give you a much smaller file size. Fewer things can go wrong. I just would stick with this. So that's the way that I would do that normally. So the next question that I'm sometimes asked is, well, what's the easiest way to bring in text? Let's say you've got a new song. Well, probably uh, the easiest way is uh, with Song Select right here. And I don't believe that I've got the it set up to do this. So let's, let's just see. And can it a good old and more importantly public domain hymn um, and let's see if we can find that so I'm doing a search real quick and it brings up this window and while I could probably remember the login and password I haven't dealt with this in so long so you actually do need subscription to song select to use this so come on spinning beach ball of death there we go so I would need the username and password so since I'm not going to do that I'm just going to click close there and I'm going to close this one so that's one way you can do it um, another way to do it is go to file import and you could import the file if you have it already. You could import copied text. And let me show you what you get with this. I just copied this off of a website because it's public domain stuff that I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with the song, And Can It Be? So when I import, I have a choice of how the slides are delimited. So I can do a paragraph break. I can do a line break if I just want a single line. And how many delimiters per slide? So if I were to say paragraph break, I know that in the case of A and Can It Be, it's like six to eight lines. So that's going to give me six to eight lines. If, and so I could have actually two paragraphs or I could also do a line break and I could do two lines. So let's, let's actually see if that does what I think it's going to do, which is going to give me two lines. So I click import because I've already copied this to uh, So I've copied that and see how that just brought that in. So that is the, the worship leader announces you're going to do a song. You find that you don't have it, but you can get it. And so while they're praying or something like that, you can bring that in pretty quickly. If you need three lines, you just change that number of delimiters to three. So that's a pretty good way to do it. Uh, another way where you have a little more control, because sometimes you want two, sometimes you want three, sometimes you want four, 
It depends on the flow of the song. So you can go import file. And let me go to my desktop because I've created a text file. This trick is going to be your friend, especially for message notes. So I've got this text file, but let me show you the original down here. So uh, let me switch over to text edit. So while I've gone through most of them and done this, I left the first verse as it was just so that I can show this to you. So let's say that for whatever reason, for the verse you want three lines, and the chorus you want two. So something like that where it's not always the same, you could bring it into your text editor. Um, on the Mac it's text edit. Just something very simple. You, want, you don't want to use Word, you don't want to use anything that does really heavy-duty text. You want the simplest text editor you can do. So you could do it this way. Um, so let me show you that, even though technically this is not the way I would format this exact song. But this shows you a way to do it where you have flexibility. And sometimes that's really all that you need. So I'm... I've done this, then I've saved it, and now I'm going to go back over here to open, and I'm going to open it. And when we do it, we'll get the exact same dialogue. This time, since I've formatted it with paragraph breaks where I want it, I'm going to change that to paragraph break and one delimiter per slide. Okay? So once I do that, what I expect to happen is the first slide is going to have three lines, the second slide is going to have three lines. So let's click, and subsequent slides will have two. So think of this as a great situation if the verse divides fairly well in one way, but the chorus doesn't. So where you've got to tweak things, this is a better way to do this, or think of this as a good thing to use for sermon notes, where you know one slide might have one line and the next one might have five, and so this is a better way to do that. So let's click Import, and I'm importing that right now. And let's see here, this is, okay. So here's the new one, and you'll notice that it has three lines on the first two slides and two lines on subsequent slides, because that's what I wanted. If I remember, if I just copy and say at line, and there's divided uh, each slide at a line, and there are two delimiters, I'm going to get this. If I said three delimiters, I would get three lines. If I said four, I would get four. So this was the copied text method where it's all the same. And this is the text document method where you have a little bit more control. So those are probably three ways that you could import stuff. Remember, song select, you can import it from what you have copied into your clipboard. You can paste it into a text document and have a little more control. Um, or if you already have it, so the fourth way is if you already have it, let's say on a different machine, or you have your entire ProPresenter library backed up to a thumb drive, and you uh, just need to use it there, that's fine too. So I think that that is just some really cool things that you can do with ProPresenter and they should provide a little more flexibility as you and your church are going out and changing eternity. Until next time, this is uh, Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.
make sure that you click the uh, previous episode to watch previous episodes and once I've recorded the next episode I'll go ahead and add that here uh, as well as other shows on the churchtechcast.com network or click su subscribe all these work on YouTube and you'll be able to get every video as I make it remember that new shows premiere weekdays at 11 a.m. Eastern 8 a.m. Pacific and uh, during the summer 3 p.m. UTC on churchtechcast.com